Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be upgrading this hard drive in my iMac G5. Now, for those of you who don't know, the iMac G5 was released around 2005-ish, and from stock comes with an 80 gigabyte hard drive. Now, while this machine I'm not planning to use for any day-to-day -day use or anything important, and I don't really need the extra storage on it, I thought this would make quite an interesting video. So, our iMac G5 is going to be getting one of these. This is a Seagate Barracuda 500GB drive. Now this definitely is quite the upgrade for this little machine uh, over the stock 80GB and I'm doing it for the fun of it. Now this iMac G5 and actually the G5 line in general were the first PowerPC Macs and the last PowerPC Macs to come with SATA so luckily we don't have to do some IDE stuff with like G3s and G4s um, that which came with IDE as standard. This is full SATA. I have installed an SSD in this machine before but we're going back to our good old hard drive and since I had this laying around I thought this system could use it a lot more. So let's get straight in to the installation. Before we start taking apart the machine, I'm going to do a full clone of the current install of Leopard onto the new drive. Now, the time has come to lay this machine down and start taking off the back cover. The back of the iMac is held on quite simply with loads of plastic clips and just three Phillips screws on the bottom. And now we're ready to reveal the glorious insides of the iMac G5. To upgrade the hard drive we're going to be working in the upper hand corner of the iMac. To start off we're going to remove the two screws that hold on this fan shroud. Now we just remove the three screws that actually hold the hard drive to the frame. And there we go. The old 80GB Apple branded Seagate drive is out. Now we've just got to complete the job of removing the caddy from the old drive. And installing it on the new one. Just like that, it's time to hide the beauty of the G5 once again. But soon after this glorious bong is where we ran into our first issue. This is the question mark folder error. This usually indicates that the computer cannot find an operating system on the disk. So at first, I thought I'd just abandon the whole Leopard clone idea and just install a fresh copy of Tiger. However, this didn't actually help because not even Tiger could pick up the drive. So sometimes we have to document our failures. Um, I've got to the stage of booting the system up and we're having trouble loading or finding the hard drive at all. Um, after doing a bit of reading, um, just real quick to see whether there's any 
fixes or things I might have missed. Um, turns out that these drives uh, run on a slightly older SATA interface, uh, which means these run at 1.5 gigabytes per second, I think. And in order to get the drive inside the machine to run at this same speed to be detected, I have to use a jumper that goes on two of the pins of the hard drive, and I believe that's just the one step I missed during this installation. So, I'm going to pull the machine all back apart. Um, don't worry, I won't take you all through it again, but we'll get to that now. Okay, yes, I found the problem. I'll bring you guys closer. So the problem we're having is with these jumpers. Um, to run this hard drive here at the right speed, we need to use a jumper that goes over the two pins here. And that did indeed work. However, it didn't resolve our issue of not being able to boot into Leopard, so we're going to erase the drive, ignore that we ever tried to clone it, and install Tiger. Honestly, and I'm sure every Mac fanboy out there is with me, they really need to bring back intro videos. That thing got me so nostalgic. And with that, we're booted in to 10.4 Tiger. So, thank you for coming on this adventure with me. I really enjoyed it. It was definitely not stressful at all, uh, just to get this finished product. But overall, was it worth it? Well. I've upgraded from over like 400 gigabytes now. Um, obviously, the old 80 gigabyte it was it was quite slow actually. Um, what I have noticed is this newer drive, which is from 2013, is a lot faster in this machine, and it just works so much better. Uh, I'm I'm actually pretty happy with it, even though it is running on an older SATA bus. The hard drive still it feels as speedy as an SSD. Obviously, that is also to do with an old OS, an old machine, uh, fresh install, you know, there are many factors, but it does feel faster, I'm happy, and it's actually quite nice to mess around with Tiger on this thing. I've never had Tiger on this machine, I've always kept that Leopard install, so you never know, I might install Leopard back on here, but this is how this machine's staying for now. So, thank you for coming along this ride with me, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and... I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.